Hello fellow Helldivers and welcome back. The cutting edge premium war bomb in Helldivers 2 introduced a wide number of crazy weapons to get our hands on, and while some are quite incredible to use, there are those that have questionable roles in game. Sitting at the final end of the catalogue, the ARC-12 Blitzer pump action shotgun is one of the most expensive pieces to equip that shoots out a bolt of lightning to nearby targets. Sounds cool right? However, you need to understand it's not a normal shotgun. So today's video will go over the weapon as a whole, cover some of the pros and cons to it, and whether you should get this weapon or not. You'll be able to get the ARC-12 Blitzer weapon by heading into the Cutter Edge War Bonds and buying it for 80 medals. Like always, you need to make sure you have around 1000 super credits to unlock the new warband first, which you can easily get by buying more or just playing a game and finding them in the open world. As shown, the weapon has the following stats. Damage, 250. Capacity, infinite. Recoil, 60. Rate of fire, 30. Maximum effective range, around 30 meters. It's hard to compare the weapon to the majority of shotguns in game as it's more comparable to the Arc Fur than anything else. Since the Arc Fur is a stratagem, this is not possible, so comparing it to the Slugger is probably the closest comparison we can do. The Blitzer has the edge when you compare it to its capacity and recoil rate to the Slugger. Of course, this is because the weapon isn't defined as a traditional shotgun. However, its damage and fire rate is much lower than Slugger's even though his damage isn't that too far off, and fire rate would be lower because of his bad reload speed. I think comparing the two, you can see where they both excel the most in, as Slugger is good with dealing with the one on one threats quite quickly, while the Blitzer is solely designed for taking on multiple enemies at once, although it can do solo as well. The Art 12 Blitzer in Helldivers 2 in the right hand can be a game changer with how widespread his Art Tendril attacks can be. If you are used to using the Arc Thrower, then you'll want to use this weapon in a similar manner, where you want to stay on the higher ground to maximize your Arc Tendril's effects far and wide, or make sure you aim a little bit above the enemy's head just so the Arc Tendrils connect more to the multiple enemies. As the weapon is a mixed hybrid of shotgun and Arc Thrower, it's going to hit as hard as a standard shotgun, but be able to spread its effect via its Arc attacks far and wide. For starters, the weapon hits extremely hard and is one of the very few guns that can one-shot tough bugs like stalkers and boot commanders if you manage to land a precise headshot. Another thing to note is how the R12 doesn't need to be aimed like most shotguns. Just point it at the enemy and pull the trigger. Since the weapon's R10 draws hit in the cone shape, it will allow your attacks to easily hit and penetrate the vast amount of enemies on your screen quite easily. Now although its arc effect will only hit around 3 plus enemies when passing by, the high damage and strong stagger effect is enough to make the weapon worth running with on higher difficulties if you want a more run and gun playstyle. In fact, this is where the weapon would excel the most in for Helldivers 2, as with its cons, the weapon doesn't feel like you're meant to stay up close and personal and take on a ton of enemies while staying static. This is a weapon designed for running and keeping your distance between you and the enemies, just so your damage covers the ground much more better, and overall, allow you a better way to deal with some of the cons to the weapon. Although the weapon is impressive, it has a lot of cons binded to it that will put players off if you're familiar with the Arc Thrower and its Ghost Arc effect. For example, just like the Arc Thrower, the Blitzer is inconsistent with its damage output at times. While it can kill high health enemies with one blast, it doesn't do this regularly and it's unclear why this is the case. I want to say this is due to the level elevation being a part of this reason, since most maps aren't as flat to allow your art tendrils to hit multiple enemies all at once. There is also the issue of shooting your weapon and the art tendril effect not actually connecting at times. I call this the art goes effect, as the art thrower does the same thing when you try to fire the weapon a second or third time. This also leads back into the two other big issues that are hard to avoid, and that is the closeness of the enemies and reload speed. Firstly, the weapon is good against a group of enemies who are at least 5 to 7 meters away from you. However, if a hunter gets super close to you, like up to your face, you will struggle to one shot them up close. And this is probably one of the biggest WTF moments that would do more harm than good. But you know what else is bad? The reload speed. This weapon reloads as if you have a musket on hand, and it will take you roughly a good 2, maybe 3 seconds to fully reload the next shot. 
Now, you may think two seconds is small, but when you apply this in game to where you need to react quickly and stay on your toes, those two seconds will be the worst two seconds of your life. Despite its numerous issues that come with using the shotgun arc for a hybrid, the arc 12 blitzer is still worth getting for players who can appreciate its use in a run and gun scenario. It may not always kill targets, nor will it be something you'll want to use against the more armored units all the time, but it will always at best stun small to medium sized enemies with ease, which I find one of the main player problems. The weapon suffers greatly against swarms of bugs or bots, but only if you have you surrounded and are very close to you. Against bots, it's okay, but it's definitely not something players will want to use against an enemy that can easily overwhelm you from distance. Those who expect this weapon to function like a breaker, punisher or arc thrower will be slightly disappointed as it only takes a certain thing from the genre of weapons to function. On the flip side, if you can adapt your playstyle to match the arc 12 blitzer strengths and use it more like a running gun weapon instead, then it will become a useful tool when playing in higher tiers. Overall, if you like playing for fun, then grab this weapon. If not, then don't worry about it. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts on the content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and a sub while here. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.